What is up my fellow internet dwellers, Catch Command here, and today I'm teaching you how to get Steam Workshop mods for non-Steam games. Steam Workshop has become one of the largest sources of mods out there, however normally you can't utilize these mods for your non-Steam games. And I'm going to show you how to remedy that issue. Hit the like button if this helps you out, comment on any other common modding issues you want some help with, and subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. Now let's jump into it. What is up all? So, let's say that you're wanting to use some cool mods off the workshop, but you don't have the game on Steam. You have it via Game Pass or something else. I'm going to be walking you through how to handle this. The first thing is, if you do have to have the game on both Steam and another application platform and you want to switch to using that other app, the way to figure out what you're going to do is first you need to find the actual ID of the game, which if you look here, it's right there after app. App 211820 for Starbound. So if we go out to our game library, here's gaming, here's my games, here's my Steam apps. So inside of my Steam apps game app library, you go to workshop and content, and there's that 211820, which this is the Starbound. So these are all the Starbound mods I currently have installed for my Starbound copy of, or my Steam copy of Starbound. So if you go inside of your files here, you go to your subscribed items, and you go inside of one of these mods here, you'll notice up at the top, ID 108233529. So we're looking for 108233529. What we can do is we can copy this guy if you have both copies of the game. Go to our Xbox version, I don't know why it always disables the mod folders if you do a restart. It's dumb, but it does. You go in here. Oop. And I actually forgot for a second that Starbound does it differently. You go over to Starbound Mods. And you can right click and paste this pack. And once it's in here, go ahead and rename that to... This was the Pocket Universe, I believe. Pocket Universe. Right? Uh... Yeah, well, Pocket World, same deal. So that mod now will work. So say you don't own the game and you want to download the mod. Here's how you're going to go about it. First, you're going to come out to Steam Workshop Downloader just to show that it's an okay place to be. It is validated as Google safe. Norton says it's okay. And it's registered Cloudflare sites as far as the actual HTTPS security of it. So it's an okay site to go to. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the Steam Workshop Downloader. They're going to go to Steam Community on the browser, and we're going to go to Starbound. Uh, I'm not sure which one to do. We'll do Instant Crafting. So we've got Instant Crafting here. We're going to go ahead and grab this link paste it over to our steam community we're going to go ahead and download or yeah the steam community downloader all right now it's given us the zip for that game we're going to go ahead and open it we're going to copy this context pack go ahead and close out of that close out of this we're going to open back our mods folder uh that's right that doesn't work for that one you have to go to Starbound Mods. We're going to go ahead and paste that pack in here. And this one was Instant Craft. All right. Now let's go ahead and play Starbound, and we should have Instant Crafting available. All right. Let's go ahead and... Return to ship real quick. And we should have our Insta crafting here. So let's go ahead and craft something random. There's our architect's table. Let's go ahead and just make a kitchen counter. Now normally when you hit craft, it should take time. There we go, it's instant, so that mod worked fine. Uh, Pocket Universe is the quantum space allocator here to build it. 
so the quantum space allocator is available which means it did install our pocket universe as well so both those mods went through and function as intended now a caveat this does not work for every game because sometimes steam stores their games as something slightly weird for instance i spent an hour trying to do this video for skyrim and whenever you're downloading a Skyrim mod from Steam Workshop, it stores it as a CKM, which is a creation kit mod. Well, to be able to use a creation kit mod as an ESP, you have to use creation kit. To use creation kit, you have to have the Steam copy of Skyrim. <laughs> so it's not every game is going to work like this, but some games hit and miss you will be able to just directly download the packs or the ESPs or whatever that you can use directly for your game. Thanks for watching the video. Message me on Twitter at Couch Command, that's CouchCMD, or down in the comments if you have any other modding issues you'd like me to take a look at for you. Hit that like button if you found the video useful, and feel free to subscribe to the channel to get more of my weekly modding content. This was Couch Command. You all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.